growing up like I did in the 60s and 70s, the world, the world seemed like a dangerous place in a different way than it seems dangerous today. Back then, there was the threat of nuclear war between Russia and America. We came to the brink a couple times, probably, more than we like to think about. It seemed like there was a huge cloud hanging over everybody, you know, the threat of, of atomic desolation drove some people to make fallout shelters and, and we had the old duck in cover, like that's going to help, but we we're all trying to cope with it in some way. I often wondered as a child if I would make it into the 21st century, if we would see Mankind would see this age that we're living in now. Then in the 80s, early 90s, the tensions seemed to ease between America and Russia. The Soviet Union basically collapsed. The wall came down in Berlin. It was a different world. We had to, we had to look at the world around us and go, where do we go from here? What do we do now? what's going to fill the gap that all that tension and all that attention went to. And in a way, we hoped, some of us, most of us, I think, hoped that the world would become a safer place. But it hasn't really. It's just changed. Now, instead of fearing nuclear bombs from above, we have to fear gunmen and explosives in theaters and shopping malls and schools, little random attacks. And it makes me wonder if whether it's the big fear of, of a worldwide Armageddon caused by, you know, nuclear bombs or some kind of global warfare or the small little skirmishes and battles and, you know, the little little battlefields that are in our neighborhoods or, you know, somewhere, anywhere, unexpected. It's driven by the same fear, the same lack. And we can look at that situation and we can look at that fear and we can think, oh, wow, you know, it's, we're still under all this, uh, under all the threat of all this, uh, you know, death and, and destruction and chaos. But the, but the remedy is still the same. The remedy is still love. Whether it's on a global scale, national scale, or individual scale. People act out of a lack of love when they act out of fear. So, rather than looking at the situation and going, oh, it's so hopeless, it's, you know, we feel helpless to do anything about it. Actually, it's us. We are the solution. If we just keep loving, demonstrating love every day to every being we encounter, that's the antidote to fear. Not to give in to it, not to hide away from it, not to lament it, not to blame, but to open our hearts and be the love that we know we can be, that we, we are here to be. Have a great night.